Judge plans to rule next week on bid to block Trump from Illinois ballot. Judge Tracy Porter said she hopes to rule next week on whether President Trump should be blocked from the Illinois presidential primary ballot. A Cook County judge said Friday that she hopes to issue a ruling next week on whether former President Donald Trump should be disqualified from the presidential ballot in Illinois on 14th Amendment grounds, per reports. Judge Tracy Porter, a Democrat, on Friday heard arguments for over three hours between President Trump's attorneys and those representing five Illinois voters who appealed a January 31st decision by the Illinois Board of Elections to keep the former president on the ballot, according to the Courthouse News Service. The Illinois Board of Elections voted unanimously to include President Trump on the ballot following a recommendation from the board's general counsel to dismiss a legal challenge brought on January 4 by the five voters, who were joined in their petition by an activist group. The five voters and the activist group, Free Speech for People, brought the challenge on the premise that the January 6, 2021, Capitol breach was an insurrection and that President Trump engaged in it. The petitioners relied heavily on the Democrat-controlled January 6 Select Committee report to argue that the events of that day amounted to an insurrection which President Trump supposedly engaged in when he gave an impassioned speech on January 6, calling on his supporters to protest against what he said was a stolen election. President Trump said in his January 6 speech that protesters should peacefully and patriotically make their voices heard, though some have seized on a portion of his remarks where he said, we fight like hell, and, if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore, as a call for violence. The former president has, on numerous occasions, denied calling for violent protests while insisting he meant his remarks about fighting like hell metaphorically. The argument for disqualifying President Trump from the ballot rests on an interpretation of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which prohibits individuals who participated in rebellions or insurrections from holding office unless they had a two-thirds vote of exemption from Congress. Voters in other states have used similar reasoning to try disqualifying President Trump on 14th Amendment grounds.